Today I'm going to introduce my university, Kirin International School of Design. KIST is part of Teha Koron. And at this institute, there are 500 students and 40% of the students coming from overseas like me. I can take a variety of lectures held in English. So this school is literally international. Lisa, international coordinator and my tutor. She supports my study life a lot. And for me, KIST is like a home and she is like a family. <laughs> and Lisa, I want to ask you something about studying in Germany. Maybe we can have a small tour around the university and then I can explain a few things. Mm -hmm. what? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Even though my background is communication design, I can freely choose and decide my study plan. So Lisa, is this typical study system <laughs> in Germany? I think it's typical for German universities to ask for a high, high level of uh, responsibility of each student. But the interdisciplinary approach is something typical for KISS mm -hmm. and for our study course here. Mm. Lisa, when I enrolled this university, I didn't have to pay my tuition. Mm -hmm. I only paid 250 euro for semester fee, included transportation cost. How does Germany maintain this system? Mm -hmm. Higher education is seen as a benefit for the public. That's the reason why um, education is free for locals and international students. So this is our classroom and I have funny story of my lecture. <laughs> uh, this uh, last question is a little bit funny. Why German people do lap on a desk instead of clap their hands after a presentation? Maybe it's because they had a pen in their hand and they couldn't clap their hands. So this was established a long time ago already. I think students are independent and has a clear study plan suitable study in Germany.